All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 16 of well, Let's Play Heroes of Light and Magic. We are uh, tackling the bullshit reinforcements right now, and I'm just thinking about maybe we should just kill this guy with Ceres. Dude has a 5% crit chance, but uh, I think we should be fine, actually. Uh, but I don't want to fight them here, all things considered. I actually kind of want to fight them in the forest. The reason being... Um, Reason being is I can't attack them inside Astria's uh, range, so it's probably better to move back a little bit. We can fight them down here, that's fine, but uh, it's uh, it's dangerous as long as we can't move forward to attack them. We kind of have to let them attack us, which is not a good idea at all. This guy's a rider Spain, he needs to die. Also, I kind of want to go and kill the dragon. Um, hit points and skill, really? <laughs> Oh, cool! He can use a hammer now. Oh, that's really cool. Um, that's great, actually. That is really good. We definitely want to give him the hammer. Martha's all the way up there, though, so that could be a little bit tricky. Hit points, strength, speed, and luck. Prefer she level defense. Alright, I think I healed the wrong target there, but it's fine. Alright, they're not in range of the mage. The mage will go for Manx. And here's the boss. Try to take a cut from thieves plundering? Your people ain't even human! We are human. We're very good human. Oh, shit. Sirius is actually taking some very tough damage from that guy. I have a save, though, so it's not like the end of the world, but still. Oh, we can kill this guy with Julian now. Ah, oh, crap. These guys have swords. Their cord does not like the sword. <laughs> Definitely do not. Swords are bad. Alright. Uh, question is, should I attack this guy now? With I, uh, Silver Lance might actually do it. Yep, it will. Down you go. Murderers! A lot of you! Yeah, we're terrible people, really. Just a bunch of peaceful thieves trying to escape with loot, and we were like, no, it's our loot. Hit points, speed, and luck. Nice, we have the love of the sword. It's a good sword to have. Uh, now we want to kill this mage. We probably want to get some healing for Manx as well. And I do believe strength, speed, luck. That guy can't reach us. Oh, actually, he has a fucking rider's pain. Ah, that's bad. Um... That is a really bad thing indeed. We definitely wanna we wanna guard Manx, so the same. This guy hurts a lot. Could use the Devil Sword, that won't kill him though. Killing itch maybe? Could get a crit. Come on, Ogma, we need that crit. We really need that crit. Alright, I think we're gonna have to use Paula here. Yep, she's gonna use the uh, Silver Lance to get this guy down. And then we need to heal these guys up. I could attack with the Iron Axe. It's risky, but it could work. Especially, But we could, we could heal him up first, though. It's worth a try. Oh, fucking hell. Haha! <laughs> well, I guess luck goes both ways, doesn't it? Uh, let's just use a normal fire tome on this guy. But damn, I want the hammer. I need to get the hammer. I really, 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 really want the hammer. Alright, then we can dance and heal again. You get very nice experience for dancing in this game. You really do. 17 experience points per dance is actually really solid. Oh, if only you had your hammer, you'd one-shot this fucking guy. Oh, fuck. Killer Lance. Still do well, though, even without the hammer, so... I guess we could save the hammer. I don't think it's a weapon you get, like, a lot of in this game. Oh, nice. Maybe we should give Navar the Armor Slayer, actually, so he can be a little bit more useful. Alright, uh, now we can bring Sirius back, actually. He needs a little bit of healing, though. Maybe we can use the rapier. Hmm. I think I prefer to, uh... I can actually attack this guy with, uh, with Linda. 
Maybe he even use the aura. Oh, the war actually one shots him. Amazing. Aura is such a fucking good tome. Now I'm going to give the angelic robe I got from the thieves to Linda for sure, because she is actually in danger of getting. Oh shit. Uh, crap. That's not good. I think I might have to rescue her again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rescue her because she's she's going to get killed by those cavaliers. God, I've used the rescue stuff so much right now. I'm probably gonna regret it. Hit points, skill, and speed. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, we're definitely using it way too much. Um, could throw some javelins at the guy, maybe? And then finish him off with Mars Rapier. For how long will these reinforcements continue to come true? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Also, I should probably utilize the... The last save point, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, this is kind of nasty. Where's my other healer? Oh, I can actually I can probably heal Manx now. That stands for Yumina. There we go. The question is, can I kill this guy with a um, killer axe? It's not nice. I could, could use an iron axe here, actually. Yeah, let's use an iron axe. Let's get... Palace axe skill up a little bit. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Nice. Being able to use axes on a flying unit is really fucking good. I actually really like that a lot. Hit points and speed. Ha! <laughs> she leveled speed. How nice. Do 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 Alright, this seems like a good place to stop. Let's move back a little bit, just to be safe. Oh, cool. It's coming from Marth. That's good. There, have my rapier. Good, sir. Ah, why am I using a hand axe? That's... The oh! Never mind. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Oh, we can give that kill to Julian, pro probably. Possibly. We can! Awesome! Alright, we need, really need Julian to get some more experience so he stops getting one-shotted by everything and their grandmother. Alright, um... We can kill this guy, which is a good thing. I just hope I haven't undervalued the, the damage of that armor knight against Marth. Marth does have decent defense, though. Hit points kill. This guy does 22. Yeah, he won't kill Marth. That's good. Um, I think I'm actually going to give an Armor Slayer to Ogma. Or give the Armor Slayer to Navar, I mean. And let Navar deal with this guy. Wait, what? This is Navar. What, what am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing here? Oh my god, that's, that's embarrassing actually. Mm -hmm. I think Paola has what it takes to deal with the dragon, truth be told. And I think I need Julian down there to um, to, to swipe the physics staff. I'm actually going to go and, and challenge that dragon right now. Hey, dragon. Come out of your cave. Let's go visit the house. The ancient fanger from Mount is just blah, blah, blah. Did I visit this in the last part? You can't see him carrying the stolen treasure all over the place. I hope they get cursed or something. I can't actually remember if I visited this house in the last point. Oh, oh, there he is. Sire, please exercise, exercise caution. Reports indicate that a fire dragon has emerged from the cave in the west. Shit, son. Ugh, killer, la killer lance. Nasty shit. I really shouldn't, shouldn't be attacked by killer lances head on. Especially when 1% crits are so common in this game. Oh, shit. <gasps> Oh, Jesus Christ, that was... Okay, one damage away from a kill. That was scary. That's good. I don't like these embers. Well, okay, let's see how this tough this fucker is. <laughs> Not very. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> wow. Now, that was a scary dragon indeed. Okay. Not sure if dragons ignore defense in this game. I didn't really get to, to see its stats. I thought he would attack me from two range. Okay, I'm not, I'm not complaining either way. 
Okay, this is actually... That was very risky. I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Alright, are we done with the ambush pawns now, by the way? That would be really nice if we weren't. I guess we could start moving for the throne. Do 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 crit just dance, let's heal up. We do have a lot of heals dice, Dave, so that's fine. Uh let's go visit the houses. The ones protecting the bridge are Astrum's free company. Powerful men are stop at nothing. As a wise man once said, let the sleeping dogs lie, eh? Again, I can't remember if I visited this house already. Okay, I think the Amber Spawns are over. I wonder if you've seen that young lady's dance. Marvelous, isn't it? Makes the tired body feel healthy again in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it does. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, you have to move on the cave, I think, to actually get the physics done. I'll just play smart here in the meanwhile then. Hello? Yeah! Physics! Amazing. Alright, we're done. Actually, there's an armory down here. Probably doesn't sell anything, though. Alright, let's seize the chapter. Map clear! Sire, we've driven away the thieves, but the temple was completely ransacked. Anything that wasn't nailed down is gone. I'm sure even the Guardian Dikinaga would be furious. It is truly the end of civilization. Jagan, do you know the legend of Naga? Yes, only vaguely, however. Manx, do you know of it? No, not really. Unknown among the youth, I see. Then, sire, allow me the honor. Ah, I love story time with Jagan. It's said that a thousand years ago, when there was not one king in the land, when there was not one king in the lands, people lived in small villages. One day, terrible monsters descended and the humans were massacred, pushed to the brink of extinction. The few who survived prayed to the gods for salvation. The gods here heard their prayers, and a gigantic warrior was sent down to earth. The warrior carried a gleaming blade of light in his right hand, and in his left hand a shield embedded with five orbs. Then, after a fierce battle, he eradicated the monsters and returned to the heavens. He was our guardian deity, Naga, and this temple is dedicated to him. He was the avatar of the gods, our guardian deity. With the blade of light and the five orbs, that is the legend of Naga. Well done, sire. We have to cross... Chiasmir Bridge soon. We must hurry. If the enemy takes it, getting across will be nigh impossible. All right then. Inform the whole army. We cross Chiasmir Bridge at once. We haven't. We haven't a moment to waste. Yes, sir. What? What happened to Astorian and his guys? Did they just let us go onto the bridge? <laughs> Lord Wendell, we have to. We're off to Chiasmir Bridge. I. Did you? Oh dear. Are you all right? Have you caught a cold? Perhaps it's too early to tell. Don't push yourself too hard, and remember to keep yourself warm. Oh, I know, I shall lend you one of the hats that I'm wearing. Huh? Is that okay? Yes, I have many of these hats, so there's no need to worry. Well then, would you like to try it on? Of course. Yes, please, if it's not a bother. No, no, don't be shy. Here you go, and do remember to watch your health. You're a good person, Lord Windell. I want to be more like you. Oh yeah, if I wear this hat for a while, I wonder if my hair will... <laughs> I wonder if my hair will start to look like his. Oh, yes, I can get Wendell here. Ah, then maybe I'll be a bit more like Lord Wendell. Yes, I'm gonna get Lord Wendell here. Amazing. All right, let's go. Chapter 8. Soulful Bridge. All right. Soon after reclaiming the fane of Raman, Masa Ami fares pursuit from the Akanean army and escapes towards Chiasmir. Chiasmir Bridge, I think it's called. However, a new enemy attacks the Altian army upon reaching the central islet. The Akanean army is coming from the north. We'll be surrounded like this. The situation is desperate. Can Marth and his friends overcome the many perils? <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, Manx, what's with the hat? This? Lord Wendell gave it to me so that my cold couldn't get, couldn't get any worse. From Lord Wendell, I see. Chiasmir Bridge has a strong sea wind, so it's good to see. That, good to have a hat to keep warm. It suits you, Manx. Really, thanks. <laughs> oh, wonderful. 
<laughs> Alright, let's do the map. Oh yeah, it's this map again. What did Astorian and his friends do? They were like, oh, we're gonna go down here now. Like, <laughs> they were like, we will guard this area, and the <laughs> army just went past like, Astorian, they're <laughs> moving on to the bridge. It's okay. <laughs> Let them pass. Worst bridge guardians ever. Oh, Roger, he's here. Cool. Alright, awesome. Then we of course have George, we'll talk about them in the... When we actually get to the, uh, ooh, 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 it's fucking Harden, boys. He's here. Oh, oh my god, look at those stats. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. <laughs> bad luck, though. <laughs> really bad luck. Oh my god, these generals seem pretty fucking tough. Um, all right. Ah, there's the Leo. We need to make sure we get that. But Astoria and his friends will come after us really soon, so that's kind of nasty. George. Mangs, in the next battle, the one guarding the castle should be General George. General George is Gordon's tutor and friend and has visited Altea on many occasions. I'd like to speak with him, Manx. I'm counting on your assistance. Roger. In the previous war, there was a man named Roger among our allies. He was a very nice man and listened to me even though we fought on opposing sides when we first met. Yeah, very nice man indeed. Tell me, do you believe in love? Oh, listen to me, I'm sure you already have a sweetheart back in Grust. Yeah, the power of the vagina persuaded him. Did you really say that to him? Manx, should we meet Roger again? I'll try and talk to him. Current status. Never mind the orbs, the fane of Roman was devoid of anything. And now, even though, though our homeland Altia stands before our eyes, the Achaean army pursues us from both directions. It's a difficult situation, but we must escape the crisis somehow. Oh, cool. Ogman, Manx. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Sir Ogma. What's wrong? Want another match? Our last battle didn't reach a conclusion after all. No, it was my loss. I know you were holding back when you took me by surprise. Otherwise, I doubt my body could stand on the battlefield ever again. It was a good lesson. That's why you fight... The way you fight is completely different from a knight's. Dirty fighting, you mean? Perhaps I would have called it that had you asked me before this. However, I couldn't do anything against that dirty fighting. Your fighting style, sir, my style of a regular soldier, it's... That of a gladiator, one who fights to the death for the pleasure of others. Blinding an opponent's eyes with sand, crushing their heads with a sword soaked in grease and blood. Roaring like a beast, crushing his opponent's flesh even when they no longer... I was thrown into a place like that when I was a kid and battled my way through it. That's... a kind of place probably even more terrible than a, terrible than a battlefield, isn't it? It's a world you're better off not knowing. I don't wish to remember it either. But you understand now, don't you? I'm not a man you want to become. I like how you get backstory for people. It's like kind of kind of cool. Oh, this is splendid tea. <laughs> Thank you, Riss. Thank you, Riss. Really appreciate it. I really do. All right. This sounds like a cool map. This sounds like a cool map. Uh, as always, though, I uh, think I'm going to end this episode uh, prematurely to do the battle preparations and shits. And, you know, just prepare myself for this chapter because it looks like it's going to be a very difficult and uh, hard chapter. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Sorry for a slightly shorter part today. Uh, consider leaving a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. And as always, my name is Finn Mangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.